Hello and welcome to Impact Africa, our online TV program by Bold Moves Media. My name is Kemi Akeode Adebayo, also known as Mama K. In today's special series program, we're celebrating Africa Month 2022, where we go to showcase people, places, cultures, and more from our amazing continent, Africa. What is Africa Day? When was it started? What is the theme for 2022? Well, Africa Day was founded in 1963. It marks the foundation of the Organization of African Unity, which was the precursor to the African Union. The day celebrates African unity and all the wonderful cultures that make this our amazing continent, Africa. It is a day where we get to reflect on the progress of Africa and to celebrate Africa basically. Even though we face so many challenges, but we want to focus on the positive. It is also a day to recognize the successes of the continent and its cultural and economic potential. The day is celebrated across Africa and around the world. This day is sometimes referred to as the Africa Liberation Day. The celebration is celebrated, like I said, in different parts of Africa and sometimes yeah, it could be just one day which is the 25th of May or like we always decide in bold moves we just do it for the whole month of May. So in this segment we will now feature and celebrate our people from South Africa, Nigeria, Tanzania, Liberia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Cameroon and other parts of Africa. Yes you know we cannot focus on everywhere but we just chose a select few. So where we're going to focus on famous popular leaders, entrepreneurs, politicians, musicians, footballers, youth under 30, actors like Mike Nelson. No I didn't mean Nelson Mandela is an actor. Don't get it wrong, but I'm giving you all the example of the people we're celebrating. So people like our Tata Madiba, Nelson Mandela, Aliko Dangote, Miriam Makeba, Elon Musk, George Weir, Zonzina Tanzer, Rachel Wanza, and a lot more. I know we have a lot of amazing, famous, popular people in Africa, but we cannot focus and feature all of them. So we just chose, you know, a little bit of one or two from different parts of Africa. So, enjoy. impact on society if you have not changed yourself and one of the most important weapons in changing yourself is to recognize that peace I mean people everywhere in the world want peace if in these later years of a life lived in pursuit of equality we can at last look upon our own country as one in which citizens, regardless of race, gender or creed, share equal political rights and opportunities for development. We do so with great gratitude towards the millions upon millions all around the world who materially and morally supported our struggle for freedom and justice. I was in the company of great men indeed. Some of them more qualified, more talented than I am. And uh, to sit down with them, to exchange views, was one of the most re revealing experiences I had. To sit down with those men and to exchange views, it enriched your own life. It fortified your morality. 
It gave you courage to do better than your best. One of the mistakes which some political analysts make is to think that their enemies should be our enemies. Anybody who changes his principles depending on whom he is dealing with, that is not a man who can lead a nation. You have a limited time to stay on earth. You must try and use that period for the purpose of transforming your country into what you desire it to be. A democratic, non-racial, non-sexist country. Humility is one of the most important qualities which you must have. Because if you are humble, if you make people realize that uh, you are no threat to them, then people will embrace you. They will listen to you. Here's the magnificent African artist, Miriam Makiba. Miriam.
Yes, our amazing continent of Africa is blessed with a lot of people who are doing so much in their various areas, be it entertainment, be it politics, be it business, be it health sector, and a lot of sectors that we probably didn't even cover. In this next segment, we will be featuring and celebrating a few of our amazing places and landmarks in Africa, from Zanzibar to South Africa and more. Like we did earlier, we can't focus on everywhere. So we just chose a few snippets, you know, I would say, of the different places that we will encourage you to come to as a tourist or just to visit and see what, you know, this place is boast of. So we're going to feature as well our tasty and unique food, drinks and colorful clothing and fashion that makes us truly African. Enjoy. As you can see, Africa is truly blessed as a continent. I really hope you've learned one or two things as we celebrate our Africa this month, the whole of May we're going to use to celebrate Africa across the continent and across the world. I know 
different people are doing, doing different things to celebrate it. But due to time constraint, yes, we could have featured a lot of other areas of Africa and things that you probably would have found educative, things like the animals, the wildlife, our languages, our flags, and so much, so much more. So how can you celebrate Africa Day and the month? Well, Africa Day, a month, if you decide, remember it's the 25th of May, and it is actually my wedding anniversary, and two days after it's my birthday, but anyway, it's all good. The whole of the month of May we are celebrating. So yes, Africa Day is a wonderful opportunity to celebrate Africa as a continent. It is a wonderful way to start a conversation with others on the rich culture and diversity of our African continent, which both of a lot, you know, that we could teach our fellow com uh, human beings and children and so on. So, yes, we should be proud of Africa. And I am proudly African. Despite all the challenges of poverty, unemployment, corruption, bad leadership, failing systems like our infrastructure, our education, health and more, we choose to celebrate and feature the positive side of Africa because we believe there's so much happening within our continent that there's so much that's still going to happen within the continent. Well, I hope you've been inspired and you're going to do something to celebrate Africa in whatever way. Keep watching us. We're going to feature different diverse Africans from different parts of the world who are doing just wonderful things, you know in the area of work or who have retired and continue to do things or something for us to learn. So yes, this is me, Mama K signing off. Till next time, stay safe, stay blessed. Remember God is love, love you and let's celebrate.